from the Navy, we turn now to the Air Force, dealing with a problem of its own, an epidemic of suicide. So far this year, there have been 30 more suicides among airmen than there were by this time last year. David Martin now on what the Air Force is doing about it. We lose more airmen to suicide than any other single enemy, even more than combat. 78 of our brothers and sisters have given up on life this year alone. In an extraordinary video message, Chief Master Sergeant Caleb Wright explained why the Air Force is ordering a first ever suicide stand down. A day off from training to focus on an epidemic of young people like Airman Shinwa Mesenberg taking their own lives. The stress life has given me finally broke my will to live, he texted his parents just before he shot himself last January. If we don't do something, we could lose up to 150, 160 airmen in 2019. In the Marines, 2018 was the worst year ever. 77 suicides and 354 attempts. General Robert Neller, who recently retired as commandant, wrote that in four years he had lost 224 Marines to suicide and only four to combat. He posted this message to Facebook. So let us help. Let us help each other. In his letter, Neller speculated social media might have something to do with it, but he walked away from his own use of social media, looking discouraged. What's happening in the military is also happening in the civilian world. Suicide rates nationwide are up 31 percent since 2001. Among young people, Nora, they are the second leading cause of death after accidents. So alarming and deserves our attention. David Martin from the Pentagon, thank you.